Tailwind. It's a fantastic utility-first CSS framework, but it's also big on this blue-collar coder short subject. We're gonna use Twin Macro to scale it down to just the classes that we use and then congeal those Tailwind classes into single classes for each of those components, which makes it much more efficient. It's great stuff. Let's jump right into the code. Okay, well, hopefully you're familiar with Tailwind. It's basically a CSS library that has a lot of utility classes in it. And so as opposed to something like a bootstrap where you just have button styling, you would essentially construct a button from all of these utility CSS classes like Flex, PT4, Text Center, and so on and so forth. And it makes it really easy to do that in a responsive way. You can go and add these prefixes like MD that only apply to certain responsive sizes. So it's just, it's a really nice toolkit. So what we're going to do is use that in the React context using this twin macro. And it's a very popular package that basically takes all of those utility classes and connects them to a CSS and JS system, in this case, Emotion. And that's going to do the work of congealing those into single classes, which is very performant. So if you use Tailwind on its own, it's just going to be a big piece of CSS. If you use it with Twin, you're going to be able to use all those classes, but you don't have to pay that performance overhead. So I started following along with this article on setting up CRA with Tailwind and also with Twin Macro, but it didn't work on CRA with React 17. So I've come up with a little article that points to that one, but that fixes it for CRA. So let's play with it. So the first thing we're going to do is start up our CRA app. We're going to call that TW test. Okay, then I'm going to CD into that directory and then bring up VS Code. All right, looking pretty good. Let's go back to our walkthrough. And the next thing we need to do is add a bunch of these libraries. So what are these? Well, Tailwind CSS is Tailwind CSS. Twin Macro is that connector between Tailwind and Emotion. And then this is basically all the Emotion stuff that we're gonna need for CRA 17. Okay, the next thing to do is configure Tailwind. It's actually really configurable, but we're just gonna go and use the basic one. Now that's created this Tailwind config at the top level. You can actually go and do this inside source if you want, but I just did this at the top level. So let's go in here, and the next thing we need to do is add this to package JSON. You can put that really anywhere. I'll just put up here. And that's gonna point twin for twin macro at that tailwind. If you were to put it in the source, you just do source. And then the last thing we need to do is bring in the tailwind base min CSS. Okay, now we're all set up and I can start the application. Okay, and that looks pretty good. No differences from what you would expect from CRA. So what we wanna do is try this out. So I'm just gonna go and copy and paste this into the app.jsx file. All right, so the first thing to notice is right at the top here, we're using this JSX import source pragma to point this at Emotion React. That's basically gonna take anything in here that's JSX, and instead of pointing it at react.createElement, it's actually gonna point it at the Emotion version of createElement, which is then gonna go and do all the CSS mapping for us. So let's save this out. All right, that's, that's looking pretty good. We've got this kind of margined in hello world. Let's go take a look at that Tailwind CSS and see with how that looks. So the container div is basically saying I want the maximum width of the container to be 4XL and that the margin should be auto, that the padding interior should be five, that the margin on the top should be five. And those basically map to rem values. You can actually take a look over here in this and you can see how those values map. So for example, five is, is 1.25 rems. And then within that, we've got text blue 500 and text, this is gonna be a large text for hello world. Let's go and change that. We can change it to something like 900 and that's gonna be much more blue. There you go, that's a much deeper blue. Okay, so let's go take a look at some other things that we can do this while we're here. So we can also create components. So for example, I'll create this heading in this container. 
And this heading is going to be an H1 that has these styles attached. So pretty easy. It's got, again, it's got that blue. In this case, it's a little bit smaller. So let's go and try that out. Yeah, there you go. That's nice. And I can replace this div in here with this container. It's exactly the same thing. And that just reads a little cleaner and it's reusable. I can also build one off the other. For example, I can bring in this big heading. Which basically takes heading and then adds on 4XL, which is going to be just bigger. Yeah, and there you go, just slightly bigger. And one last one is the maybe big heading. This is kind of fun. So let's go look at this. We're going to bring in styled from twin macro. And this one's actually conditional. So it's going to look at the props. And if there's a Boolean prop for big, then it's going to make it big. Otherwise, it's not. So let's try this out. We'll put in one that actually is big. And there you go. So when we have a big Boolean on there, then we apply that style. Otherwise, we don't. All right, so let's do some performance stuff. Let's go over here, bring up the console again. And now we're going to do a production build. And that's going to create a directory call build. And from there, I can serve it out. OK, now that that's built, I'm going to bring it up. But I'm actually going to bring it up over in an incognito tab. And that'll give us a really nice base for a performance check. So let's go over to inspect. And then lighthouse. And then generate a report off that. And there you go, 100% performance across the board, really, really nice. A really good starting point to go, well, I guess nowhere but down from, but <laughs> don't do that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed learning about Twin Macro and how to make Tailwind really usable and production ready. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to put those in the comments section down below in the description. There is the link to our Discord server where you can just jump on and have a chat with us directly, or you can subscribe to the newsletter and get access to these videos a day earlier than everyone else, as well as some JavaScript article links. It's just great stuff, and it's free, great price. So jump on board with that. In the meantime, of course, have a great holidays, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.